all rise for the trial of Quantum TV and YouTube versus literally everyone else. This situation actually just got completely out of control. Like, yeah, it's pretty bad, but let's react to this. I really want to know These what is going on. Dark times. I can't hear anything. Mostly because I don't have this. That's why I couldn't hear a crap. Time to bring it to an end. Is he actually gonna call his lawyer or something? Because I think he's gonna... <laughs> As I was saying, I think he's gonna go legally. Yeah. Nice haircut though. I don't know any lawyer walking like this though. Wait, he cut his beard as well. Oh, What's okay. This is the okay, okay. Here. And a lot has happened since we last spoke. Yo, he actually TV. did a trim no, and everything, haircut. What's been happening behind nice. the scenes, and if I plan to make good on my promise of getting his channel rightfully terminated. Spoilers, I do. I was in talks with people <laughs> at YouTube for over a month, and I didn't want to reveal anything until this video was close to completion. I can now confirm, after conducting a thorough investigation, that YouTube has officially found Quantum TV not guilty innocent what they decided he had violated no community guidelines how can you do this this is outrageous um it's unfair and by the way I didn't react to the other videos that he did about quantum TV basically harassing him and also other youtubers also copyright striking other youtubers because I didn't want to, okay? <laughs> I don't want to get into drama, but this video caught my attention. So, yeah, and that's why we're here. And also found that his numerous copyright claims and takedowns were considered a fair request for review, meaning YouTube believed he had a fair reason to file them. We'll get to why all of this is complete. So wait, if YouTube is saying that he has a good reason to do that, that means he has a reason to strike you? Well, I would understand claim it. But striking? Well, to be fair, claim if you can claim something, you can also strike it, right? It doesn't matter. The moment that you're allowed to claim it. There's literally it, a 100% chance he gets his channel deleted. Like, I, I don't even think it's 99. I feel like this is a guarantee. I thought so too, Osman. I thought so too. It is yeah. a grim day for us all as we now enter the dark age of YouTube. I've never felt more to disgusted be fair, or ashamed yeah. of this website, particularly the teams in charge of copyright and community guidelines. So many people have been threatened and harassed and bullied by this guy who's been doing this for four years. The false takedowns, the hate speech. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears we lost. Objection! at you you're pathetic who who said that me what's, what's going on here? who else i can't believe you're just gonna sit there cowering and sniveling in a corner are you a lawyer he, he could be big old i i'm the act attorney well it's not over act attorney not by a long shot wipe those tears because the only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over you act man in your quest to get quantum tv removed from youtube it will be a better place what is going on <laughs> you were reviewed you got jesus guys kim start right. god damn and so because of the danger that he poses to the channels of other creators and his threats made to the families of his critics I Who is this? Pumba? Quantum TV belongs oh, on YouTube. Mufasa? I will see to it that the Nala? justice <laughs> is brought down upon the wicked. If YouTube won't do it, yeah, you, you can do it yourself. Then the rest of us will. Yeah, no, like if you we... does not mean Quantum TV is innocent. Far from it. In fact, it means something much, much worse. I'm getting a lot I'm of puppy playtime ads. Breastfeed it to you. Through my research, I am able to provide undeniable evidence that Quantum TV has violated the following community guidelines on multiple occasions: external links, hate speech, cyberbullying and harassment, additional policies, ban evasion, copyright, 
harmful or dangerous content, child so if you have all of these evidence, how can scams. YouTube not say, this okay, will be showing you the proof fair, and also we should ban this person, is but they're not doing it. or no longer enforcing these community guidelines, and I plan on showing just how wrong Wait. they are using YouTube's own fucking words. And I especially <laughs> don't condone looking up other content creators' <laughs> personal information. Don't stoop to Quantum's level. YouTube's decision <laughs> to not ban Quantum was made as a result of three things. Poor investigation skills, a hands-off approach, and a lack of any common sense whatsoever. I'm making this video not only because it's huh? personal, but because I truly believe in what YouTube is supposed Wait, the quantum... Wait, 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 wait. The Ackman threatened to murder me. The Ackman threatened to the MCA strike me. Wait, what are these videos? Wait, are these like trying to K that he tried to bully other people? So YouTube can actually, instead of taking down Quantum TV, he would basically take Ackman's uh, channel. Is, is that what was trying to do right now? Because these two videos look really the, freaking the same in terms of in terms of thumbnail, but in terms of view, video length, obviously not. But because I truly believe in what YouTube is supposed to stand for. Does YouTube side with justice or evil? I suppose we'll find out soon enough. It's like if you're in a group, it is your responsibility to ostracize your own extremists. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. This guy is an extremist. He's a nutball. He's a bozo. Would you believe that in the copyright abuse video I only shared about 10% of the archives I had on Quantum? I intend to share the rest with you today. No wonder this video is long as crap. What? Why am I reacting to this? Because I love Elden Ring. And this all started because of Elden Ring. Like, this did not need to be this deep, but now it is, so now we're here, and now we love to see it, right? Not really, because it's not going the way that we want it. So I we ask once more, blue pill, red pill. Ah, who, who am I kidding? I know which one you're going to pick. You're red pilled and based. Am I? All rise for the trial of Quantum TV and YouTube versus literally everyone else. Act me. <laughs> Your opening statement? <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Quantum TV is guilty of multiple offenses, and I intend to prove that he needs to be removed. Wow, from the he actually went deep on this. Even integrity. put like he really designs and everything. Like well, he didn't care about that. that. Can really do a whole lot, and in the end, it's really just ego. That is a bold claim indeed. But why is it your duty to pursue this if YouTube already has? A fantastic question. I believe Matt Koval, creator liaison for YouTube, should take the stand. Mr. Koval, please testify on YouTube's creator responsibility initiative. Oh, so basically what he's doing now is showing what YouTube themselves talk about the community guidelines and the responsibility that YouTube itself has with their creators. Now... Like, this is literally coming on YouTube's own words. If YouTube's own words, and then it's completely different from what they're doing right now, they have to act upon it. Or change the guidelines, okay? Or change the rules. Like, if the rules are saying this, and you're not actually abiding by them, or you change the rules, or you follow the rules, there's only, like, there's no in-between. Because people will come at your neck, Okay? People will come at your neck if you don't literally do what you said that you have to do. The protections of creators, okay? As a YouTube creator, you're sometimes seen as a representative of the platform and a member of this giant influential community. It becomes your responsibility, along with every YouTube creator, to help us keep the ecosystem healthy. If the things you do and say as such a representative are really reckless, dangerous, inappropriate, on video or not, you can actually cause damage to YouTube and Wait, they even they even acknowledge if you say something reckless, like in terms of like politics and all of that, like if you just say some crazy stuff that also influences, right? Because Quantum TV just went balls deep and he, <laughs> the man went balls deep into this. Fun fact, did you know that when Quantum TV struck Mischief's video, it had 930 views, 930 views.
but it got personal when he looked up my family's information, contacted my mother specifically via phone call, and harassed and threatened. Phone call? He called her. Bro, you don't need to be this deep. You don't need, you don't need to go this deep. No! What have you done to her? She can confirm the call he posted was real, although two minutes of it is missing from the start. Two I'm minutes. calling on behalf of Quantum TV. Your son has been making a string of uh, really defamatory posts. Hello, is this Ackman's mother? Yeah, this is Quantum TV. Uh, your son's been bullying me online. I mean, I'm trying to avoid any kind of litigation or lawsuit by talking things out, so is there any way I can get in contact with him? Your Honor, next I would have two representatives from YouTube. Hmm. That, the way that he was saying it, well, to be fair, what, why would he call his mother, though? Like, if you were, how did you even get the number of his mother? Like, I was about to say, wait, wait, to be fair, he's actually talking to your mother to ask information about you in terms of, like, he wants to talk to you specifically, not your mother. But at the same time, how the hell did you get his mother's number? Did you know each other or something like that? And why didn't you call Ass Ackman first? Just talk to him. I think this would actually d dial down if you talk to him or better yet, not call his mother. Because let's be honest here. If somebody called your mother for some dumb stuff, uh, believe you me, you're going to be raging like I will. Okay. Nobody touches our parents, okay? We are very protective with our parents. So we need to watch out on how we basically act on this term, okay? But you have absolutely had no reason to call his mother. Like, let's be real here. If I have the ability to call somebody's mother, that means I have the ability to call him personally, unless he blocked me. Unless they blocked me, which I doubt Axe Fan actually, Act Men uh, blocked you testify on their harassment policies. Hi, I'm Michael Grosak, Global Head of Content Policy at YouTube. And I'm Matt Halpern. I'm Vice President, Global Head of Trust and Safety for YouTube. Harassment of anyone affects everyone. Malicious acts are abusive behavior. It does, apparently, as you can see. very seriously at YouTube. This means threatening someone, whether it's subtle or obvious. Objection! You say you take malicious acts very seriously at YouTube. If that's mm -hmm. the case, then explain the next three minutes of this video. <laughs> and you don't understand that this level of fanaticism is dangerous. And, and you might end up hurting somebody. You know, you think that this behavior doesn't have consequences. One day, and I'm, I'm making this video because one day, maybe you guys might actually get someone killed. And I mean that. Threatening someone. Yo. Well, to be fair, uh, harassment does get somebody killed. There's suicides and all that. Somebody gets a lot of pressure, a lot of backlashes like this. Uh, like uh, some some people are actually amazed how uh, Quantum TV hasn't just gone absolutely depressed or something like that. But he has a strong ass mental. I give him that. He doesn't back down no matter what. He's strong in his beliefs. If he believes in this. Hey, he will double down. He doesn't care if he's wrong or right. He will go down with it. Whether it's subtle or obvious. Hopefully, through your actions, one day you don't get somebody killed. But it crossed the line into harassment when the creator made veiled threats. Again, veiled threats, as you guys like to say, is not something that we do here on YouTube. You goddamn liar! Malicious. So, he's basically contradicting himself by saying that I don't do none of these things, but the screenshots are showing messages that he's clearly harassing people. So you're just shooting yourself in the foot, I guess. This acts can also mean threatening someone's privacy. That includes stalking and doxing, which means releasing someone's private or identifying information online. People come to me, they send me all kinds of personal information on you. 90% of it, I have no interest in. I know about all... Wait, 90%? What do you mean 90%? of your family members at this point i don't care to know that i know so much threatening someone with to be fair one thing is for sure my family member good luck i i'm an african person they all in africa who are you gonna who are you gonna chase <laughs> who are you gonna chase in africa you're gonna be shot by sight not even that actually you're lucky if you get shot you're gonna get something worse than than getting shot 
But yeah, my family, good luck. Like the the worst thing that you could do to me is being doxxed, which I don't even know how doxing works, but yeah, that's the only thing that you could do to me. Whether it's subtle or obvious, there's something down there. The problem is it was TV, too obvious. Take it too far. They lead to hacking. They lead to real world doxing. I called his mother. Threatening so you, someone. So you admit that you called his mother in video. Well, to be fair, you could have like, the argument that I was saying. Hey, I called his mother so that we can sort this thing out. But at the same time, you could call him. That's the, that's the argument here, though. Whether it's subtle or obvious. And some of you start doxing, sharing personal information. I called his mother. And then you go even a step further. You find people in real life. Because how dare they find you in the real world? That's creepy. No, it's not, dude. I called his mother. Stalking. So you actually went to X Men's house? Not X Men. Um, <laughs> Act Man's house. Did you actually went to his house? Well, no, I don't think you did because they literally said they were shooting on site. <laughs> Bruh. And Doxy. No uh, mouse or anything behind this. And yes, I know your address. Yes, I know your phone number. Yes, I know your mother. Yes, I know your brother, your father, your next of kin. Stalking and Doxy. What? Don't, don't think I'm playing around. I called Ackman's mother to get a hold of him to let him know the kind of damage he was causing. Subtle or okay? Obvious. I'm not fucking around with this. Threatening someone, whether it's subtle or obvious. If he's available to talk, or, 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 you, or you're the guardian for him, I'd imagine, I can send over a cease and desist letter from my lawyer. And you're literally lying about your mother. But let me see here. Like I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm figuring out something that wasn't clear. But with these audios, it doesn't seem like he threatened his mother, like threaten her life or a threat in a way that, well, this is like a legal threat, right? Like in terms of like me coming to you and saying that, hey, you better take that down or you better do this. Otherwise, my legal lawyers are going to be in sight, right? That is not a reason for basically shooting somebody. <laughs> Obviously, that's not. It's like legal terms. Like it's not aggressive physically aggressive it's literally just legal terms unless he's gonna say some bull crap right now being threatened to send more people after me i'd rather not drag a family to the mud given the time i'd rather not drag a family to the mud given the times the current status of the world and the current status of the world you understand what i mean like we all have families and stuff we're trying to accomplish so i'm not trying to derail anybody's livelihood threatening someone whether it's subtle or obvious how many times did i actively ask his mother to pass me off to him because truth be told i never wanted to talk to her in the why didn't you call him then but okay you asked her okay he i don't feel like mm, see this is because i don't feel like he threatened his mother but at the same time, it threatened illegally, though, because it was to put. Yeah, because if you talk to somebody's mother and saying that their child is going to get legally freaking executed, like every parent would be shook. And I'm pretty sure Ackman's mother was literally concerned out of her mind because that's her child. So it was technically a threat, but not the type of threat that I was thinking it was. So it's a, uh, but that's a little bit. In the first mm. place, your, your son is causing trouble for me. And that's the whole reason for this call to begin with. I... Wait, I'm not reading these. Like, uh, I'm not reading these. I should be reading these. Okay. Don't feel sorry for her. And Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never sent a single email to his mother. I also never threatened her. I call her, she called back. Ackman is being a an employer. I ain't going with that because he doesn't like being called via his mother. Nobody does. Let's be honest here. Nobody does. Uh don't feel sorry for her. Wait, what? Don't feel sorry for her. Had she been a good person, she wouldn't have raised a Bro, you don't need to say that. I should be reading these freaking messages a long time ago. Whoa, I should be reading these messages. What the hell is wrong with you? Yo, obviously, Ackman is not racist. 
But no, 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 seriously though, he, he's not racist, come on now. But yo, you cannot put on anybody's parents because of this. Like, this is just a beef between you and now you're saying you don't feel any... Oh my God, see, this is just... Is causing trouble for me, and that's the whole reason. But that's the thing though, I don't feel, feel like Quantum TV actually threatened his mother though. Not the way that I was actually viewing it, because I thought that he was threatening her life, okay? This is threatening legally somebody, which you can see as a threat as well, but not a, not in a way that I think, I, I'm thinking how we actually, because on the recordings, right, the way that he's wording everything, it doesn't mean like, he's not coming with malicious intent, but it's like, how do you say this, manipulative, is a little bit manipulative on his actual wording, just saying that, oh, I don't want any problems, but talk to your you know son and everything to solve this problem right now because i can legally threaten him uh, legally approach him and everything so reason for yeah. this call i never wanted to talk to her in the first place your son is causing trouble for me and that's the whole reason for this call to begin with stalking and doxing i'm trying to find action to be fair uh, Clearly, if you got his mother's number, that means you're stalking. So, yeah, you are stalking at this point. So, what, what would you do as a human being if you're trying to find somebody who is... Well, let me read this. These are actually important. I need to start reading these Discord ones. You can record or conversation. Let me know exactly what the ramifications are in written in written form. Yo, just talk to me. I, I also would do the same thing as Ackman is doing. Like, let's talk. Writing... There is so much stuff that in writing doesn't come close to explaining things. And you can take a lot of context. Like you can basically screenshot him writing some stuff and then basically just put something completely different. So it's better when it's recorded because it's actually legitimately and you can do anything. Like you can just, you know, custom everything that they're writing here because this thing can be actually custom written. But yeah. Uh, it's the same as typing it out. Uh, is it not up for debate if you want to talk? Find a stage name, Yak Man. Well, you're going to look into them. Threatening someone's privacy. It's not real hard to find him at all. You can Google him right now and you can get all of the same information I did. It's not hard. I promise you, if you look into the Act Man right now, you will find... Oh, uh, that's room. fair. You will find, just type Act Man. You, look for Act Man's real name. Like, actually try to find people you will find it. It's not Content that encourages abusive fan behavior such as DDoX. Oh, yeah. So if you just say that... So, to be fair, like... Maybe he's an idiot. <laughs> Maybe he's an idiot because what I'm seeing here is he's saying stuff that will it's damning, but at the same time, I don't think he knows that it's damning. That's the problem because on the tone of his voice and everything that he's saying, I don't feel like he's doing this on purpose. I feel like he's just idiot. I, I don't know. There's things that you say and things that you shouldn't say and things that you may feel like okay maybe like the thing is okay i'm the way that i found this person is by literally just googling their names and i all got all this information which is fair because you can do this to everybody uh but the reason is he's saying that hey i, I did this because you guys are telling me that i'm a stalker but that's not true because this information is out in public and you can see that if you do X, Y, and Z. And that's basically content, encouragement, abuse, fans, behavior, such as dedoxing. <laughs> so, like I said, he's trying to basically say his reasons to do this. But at the same time, he's shooting himself on the foot. <laughs> Hard. Completely. And advertisers don't want to be associated with that. Uh, of You're a liar. You're a liar. See, like this I think is it's pretty obvious what he did to my mom was malicious in intent because he obviously had no good reason to contact her over me. In fact, he refused a voice chat. With yeah, me that's the thing. Like he has no reason to call your mother. Refused a voice chat in private. 
Yeah, because the fact that the only reason why I feel like he was uh, wrong when he called his mother is the action of calling his mother. Like, once you do that, that means that you have other intentions to basically, you know, threat, not threaten, but scare off his mother so that her mother, his mother basically comes to him, goes to him. And tell him to do X, Y, and Z because it's our mother, you know. They will be severely worried about us. So the moment that you do that, I would be extremely pissed off if somebody calls my mother to tell me that. Is that a threat? Well, pretty much it will be a threat because my mother is freaking scared out of her mind and basically coming at me. So, but yes, DMs. it is a threat. <laughs> It wasn't until my power of an apology video came out where I mentioned that I contacted his mother, where I guess he got embarrassed and upset by that. Ask him why on the 23rd, after the phone call that I've published, why he said he was moving on, and then only after I made the power of an apology video that he'd come out saying he was threatened. You guys really need to look at things full picture and stop playing games here. Objection! Why did I say I'm done with the drama and then do a 180, you ask? Initially, I was so shocked you took it to that level. I thought, this isn't worth it. I'm not going to talk about him anymore. Wipe Wasn't it hands. the moment Moving that he on. called your mother? You went or public what? with the knowledge that you contacted her and made a community post about it. People started asking me. I tried to ignore it. And then the next day, you oh. posted a video verbally confirming this. I, bro, ask him. Don't, don't think I'm playing around. I called Act Man's mother to get a hold of him. This court does not approve Why? of calling anyone's mother. No. Yeah. You didn't want this to end. You didn't they want don't to, need be left to call alone. his mother. With your copyright takedown attempt failed, in your twisted mind, you thought you had no other option but to threaten my family in an attempt to silence me. And it almost worked. But you yeah. just had to brag about it. You had to talk about it publicly, and that's why this video exists. Oh wow. So you basically called his mother. Let's speed past that part because I spent 30 minutes talking about this. Um, so basically, you did so many videos in terms of bragging about making Actman stop pursuing this. Why? Like, it was already over. You did not need to put any... He wanted views. That's the reason. Yeah. Yeah. But Why am I thinking so much? He just wanted joke views. Amongst all of my family. <laughs> People gave me crap for this tweet, but I was shocked. Okay. And I'm not taking chances with lunatics. You know, it's not going to happen. Wait, wait. I didn't, I didn't read. I need to, I need to start reading more. Uh, try it, but not from anything he can con connect with you. Be safe. He's, Oh, so that's the message that him and his mother were basically okay, okay, okay. But at least his mother is okay, okay and, I'm not and taking chances not mentally. Lunatics. You know, it's not going to happen a situation like this. Oh, hi, Quantum. Thanks for showing up to my house uninvited. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Come on in. We're just having dinner. Would you, would you like a beer? Wait, wait, why are you stabbing my mother in the throat? Oh, no. I totally didn't expect you to do something like that. Right? Because, let's be real, Act Man is saying that I am threatening a woman here, okay? This is a serious crime. He was so enraged by it, he never reported it to the police once. Yes, I contacted my local police department for <laughs> police report. Yes, I contacted a litigation attorney. Yes, I called the police department in his county. And I had to do all of this because of him. This is the type of shit that wow. can when you okay, maybe that's too to much, right? their rules. When they allow someone like Quantum to have a platform for four more years than he should have. Looking through YouTube's community guidelines, they actually don't have any rules against harassing, doxing, or threatening violence against other content creators' families. Objection! Then, of course, there's the infamous tweet. We wouldn't want our families to get hurt or involved in this. Like, this is such bullshit, bro. Wait, wait, wait. He said that? Can confirm that Quantum TV is threatening me and my family with deducts and violence. Okay. This is what I was saying. The reason why I was also so a bit, a bit like... Uh, dubious about all of this. Uh, well, I was actually uh, absolutely sure that Quantum TV needs to get out. It's because of the call of mother and threatening 
violence and dedoxing. Now, these are actual threats, like violent threats, okay? So we wouldn't want our families to get hurt or involved in this. That, yeah, you are threatening people Bro, now. In the I same wish videos I was... you bragged about doxing my mother, you also made comments like, one day maybe you guys might actually get someone killed. And I mean that. Hopefully, Cousin through three. your actions, one day you don't get somebody killed. I reached out to your mother to convey the severity of real-world harm. The act mom, mom should have never been involved in this at all. And it's yeah. real emotional turmoil for me and my family. Dude, even yeah. if you hate my guts, right? Photoshop all the cucumbers you want into my mouth. But while you literally sit here sucking on cucumbers in a very provocative way... Provocative way? Man, people need to take out of their minds out of the Talk gutter. Shit like about just me nonstop. Just don't involve my family. Don't be yeah. on TV. Those videos are. If still you're gonna like, direct your rage, direct at the person that you're he's talking. He's profiting off of harassment with YouTube's blessing. One That's what I said. Note, he's just making videos to get more money. Video was uploaded at 10:46 a.m. Quantum TV called my mother 40 minutes after it was uploaded. There was no hesitation. <laughs> Our next order of business, Banavation, as I believe this is where the conversation should have started and ended. While I briefly touched on this before, Your Honor, I request YouTube testify on their policies around ban evasion. How long did this video terminations do not expire? Just YouTube's making the video is 50 minutes. From accessing, possessing, or creating any other YouTube accounts. If your termination appeal has been rejected, then you will not be able to recover your account. If your channel has been restricted due to a strike, you must not use another channel to circumvent these restrictions. Hold it! Would you say YouTube is Wait. pretty consistent with enforcing this policy? So, if you got banned on YouTube once, that means you can't create another account. But this is true because Leafy. Leafy got banned out of YouTube, but because he's so freaking big, his name is all over the place and his voice is all over the place. Leafy can come back to YouTube no matter what. No matter what channel, no matter what. Even he came back to another company's name. He's just basically doing, you know... Yeah, the, the normal commentary, but in another company's name. Even then, YouTube freaking removed them. So, yeah, that is true. YouTube should be doing that. So, Quantum should not even have a channel in the first place, to be fair. So, yeah, that that's the thing. You shouldn't be having a channel in the first place. Policy and your community guidelines overall? Yes. We enforce these community guidelines using a combination of human reviewers and machine learning and apply them to everyone equally regardless of the subject or the creator's background. Objection! You screw that up Apply hardly. the community guidelines to everyone equally. Doesn't that sound a bit off? What do you mean, Mr. Act? I'd like to direct the court's attention to this man, but... Oh, like there we go! Indeed, yeah! At least three attempts See? to return to YouTube after exactly. his initial ban. The first channel, Weefy, was made in 2020 and shut down yeah. shortly after. September 3rd, 2021, Leafy's new channel, Lucky, was banned. It had been up for just five days. On January 14th, 2022, yep. Leafy's third new channel, LeafyCast, was terminated four months after its creation. That sounds like pretty swift and decisive action to me. Yes, mm -hmm. it sure does. And yet, Quantum Leafy TV is the best example that we have. Ban Leafy is the, the best example we have. Well, YouTube, I'd say the only thing that's consistent with your policies... True, this man uh, for four years is too much. <laughs> I have been banned from YouTube for two weeks. Come to Quantum's controller core to watch videos until time runs out. Snowflakes won't win this what one. What did you do to be banned in the first place? Facebook That's my question. To a different channel if you weren't afraid that your current one would be taken down. Where are the contacts for this? And then you made another post the next day because I just can't let them take my channel without a fight. And then... Why would you lie on June 30th about the appeals you made to YouTube and admit that you were banned for hate speech? Why would you write up a fake... Okay. Why are you getting banned in the first place? Like, right now, you're being banned for harassment, talking absolute nonsense and all that, but... Did you do that to your other two YouTube channels? Like, what have, what have you been doing? Like, obviously, you have to learn from your mistakes, right? But if your mistakes are not biting you in the bum-bum, clearly, 
you can come back and do the same bullcrap. So take appeal for a fake some people never learn and go through the trouble of forging screenshots. I agree. This is quite compelling evidence. In 2018, I had a massive compromise of all of my social media accounts. My PlayStation and Xbox even got hacked. Nothing was safe. Objection! You're right, I'm sorry. All these hacked posts were from someone pretending to be you and pretending that your channel was deleted and lying about that on the Facebook account you had linked on your current account until just recently. Now, I'm going to take it a step further and actually tell you... That is a lot of hacking successfully and a lot of time. But to be fair, I, I doubt that like a hacker is going to do that when you're basically like a nobody, okay? They pre pre probably would do this to somebody that is bigger on YouTube or have a social me a big social media following. Like, we are nobodies for a hacker to do all of this for no reason. Like, your, bo your posts are not getting that many likes, like 10 or something like that. So, I doubt that, okay? I really freaking doubt that. What he does is he creates unless these hackers really want to waste their time on doing that content on each one He'll constantly rebrand them change the username the pictures and URL to cover his tracks So they can't be linked back to his original band your honor. I request a verdict right now Boy I am thoroughly tickled. I, I forget what I said. I'm, I'm literally really tickled by this. What are you talking about? I caught you Stop spreading lies Objection Giving a shout out to Quantum Apotheosis channel. It was a Mr. 4K Upscaler video. You know, it was made four years ago. And it's funny because you expand that box, you expand the description, go down to the link, you click on the link, and you'll see the so-called band channel that uh, a lot of people decided to make a stink over. What? What? Hmm? The reality is Quantum Apotheosis is in very good standing. There's no way! Can that be another channel? Order, order, I say. Wait, wait, wait! I don't think it could be another my channel. My courtroom is getting thrown out. You don't have any power here. Nobody was taken down by anyone. Well, it seems this is incontrovertible proof that Mr. TV is not ban evading. There, there's a very simple explanation for that. Right now, Mr. TV has four active channels: Quantum TV Vlog, later renamed Controversial Truth, Chemical. Egg yeah, like. Can't he just rename the things? Like he can rename the channel name to some to a band channel and also then just put the thumbnails on those videos like the other channel and also change the titles. He could do that. Or if the channel was banned, nobody saw the videos of that those channel that channel. He could stay with the same videos. Like XJ9, his main one, and this brand new. The importance is how long was those channels Ooh, up? Next gen gamers. I'd also like to point out that Chemical XJ9, Quantum Rising, Quantum Realm, and Next Gen Gaming are all the same channel. Remember these names because it's important. I see. There's too and many names. How is this I ain't going. Your Honor, it's possible to change the custom URL of a YouTube channel quite easily. I suspect he found this video, changed the link of an old channel he had privated to match this one, and is trying to pass it off as if he was never terminated. Well, that seems compelling, but... Yeah, but how can we prove Do you have any evidence to support this theory that he has been changing the URLs? I... Yeah. I, uh... This is the shit I gotta deal with with the gaming community? I swear, this is why people don't like you, it's just unequivocally a lie made solely to slander somebody that they don't like. It's... Can you prove that? It's no use. I... I can't prove something like that. Very well. I'm going to announce my verdict then. This... Can you... Court no, continue, continue, TV. continue. Hold it! Y Your Honor, please wait. Uh, Mr. Act, you better have a good reason for interrupting my verdict. Now, do you have proof to refute the witness's claims or not? How can you prove you changed can the I link? Prove something like that? Do I really have evidence? Even I don't know actually. His channel's URL? Are you a lawyer or just a big old? <laughs> my entire case is resting on this moment. If I let up now. This hateful copyright abuser will get hmm. off scot -free. I'm still thinking on how can think he about actually this from prove a different that. angle. I don't need to prove that quantum apotheosis was Because banned. it's like I need to show that he changed the URL. 
Mr. Act. If you How can you do the validity that? of your claims, then I'm afraid this wild goose chase will be nothing more than conjecture. Your Honor, I have proof. And 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 uh, this is how you respond. You steal videos and you you, you lie through your f***ing teeth. Objection! Mr. TV, the only thing coming through my teeth are straight facts. This evidence hmm. will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're violating YouTube's policy on ban evasion. And here's my final proof. Take that! But highly rec highly recommended quantum apocalypse. Here is the link to that's, this channel. That's the evidence Mr. TV just submitted as proof that he isn't ban evading. Quite the contrary. This link Quantum is using to prove his innocence is the very thing that will seal his fate. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but that's some weird mm. language going on there. It's just all hearsay. Have you ever heard of the Wayback Machine, Your Honor? It archives websites across the internet to preserve their contents as they were at an exact point in time. These links can't be faked. Quantum claims this link leads what? to the missing channel apotheosis. So I asked myself, what would happen if I put this link into the Wayback Machine? No way! No way! No way he did that! Oh my god! There it is. Irrefutable evidence of Oh! Evidence. Quite a remarkable coincidence. So what Bruh! I was literally out of words because I can't, I couldn't possibly think, how can he prove that? Oh, my mind is like, it's impossible, like, how can you prove that? Just recently, Yo, he blew my mind on this one. Yo! He found this video, made Next Gen Gamers public again, and changed the custom URL to the one listed in the description to make it look as if Quantum Apotheosis was never banned. If you look at the social blade for this channel, you'll see the account was active throughout May and June of 2018, but it was recently made public again on May 15th, 2022. You can also see there was oh. a massive purge of videos, but before that, what was the last? Wait, 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 wait. Could also Yo, the, the okay. These are the views. I was about to say there ain't no way you have that many <laughs> that many freaking videos. No human has that many. See, videos. There was a massive purge of videos, but before yeah. that, what was the last day Next Gen Gamers was active? June twelfth, twenty eighteen. The day before Quantum TV himself confirmed his other channel was banned for hate speech, and here. Quantum shows in this Discord message how he privated this account for so long. Tell the truth. Quantum Apotheosis was terminated for hate speech, and you've been evading that ban for four years, using three separate accounts this whole time. And that's all the proof YouTube should need to enforce their policies and terminate the rest of your active channels. Admit it. Yeah, like at this point, he's not even going with, uh, with the fact that he threatened his mother or... He basically was abusing the the copyright striking and all of that. He's now just saying, hey, yo, bro, you should not even be here in the first place because you already got banned. Which is true. You shouldn't even be here in the first place. But you still are. So, you're ban evading. So now the finger comes back to point at YouTube. You're not enforcing your policies. So either change the rules or get off your ass See? and do your job. Account termination. That's the same thing that I said. Or you basically just do what you have as a rule that you implemented for everybody or change it. Like if you're not going to go with your guidelines, change them. Nobody's going to say anything because the rules are different. But the rules are not different. So everybody's going to speak their minds until they get crazy or out of this and then as you can see like the public makes the world go round so if nobody's liking this and they all have problems believe me youtube has to do something whether they want to or not because they will also going to be losing money accounts have been terminated are prohibited from accessing possessing or creating any other youtube accounts since you can evade your previous ban you know who's going to be really leafy about all of this Leafy, Alex Jones, and Jay Station. Who the hell are these people? <laughs>
Well, I know the other guy up there, which was doing some crazy stuff. The guy below, I don't know. But yo, this goes to show that there are only rare people that actually get these type of bands. <laughs> Allow me to be the first person to officially welcome them back. Welcome back, guys. All water under the bridge. YouTube doesn't care anymore. Yeah, come back, Leafy. I actually liked your videos. They're funny. You are the same people probably running over those turtles and those poor raccoons and possums on the side of the road for sport, okay? As people like me jump out of the car and rescue f***ing animals. I doubt that. I doubt that. Most people, we, like, obviously, if I see a bunny almost getting run over, personally, I want to save it, but I'm not going to go around it and just jump in and save it. Hell no. What the heck? It's human let's say human reaction right like you're not gonna put yourself in a certain position because guess what humans also to also freeze like you want to save it but that doesn't mean you're gonna go around and saving it okay but i doubt you are gonna do that i really doubt it's quite hard to believe that given the evidence people would opt to defend quantum but when they do it's truly amazing the mental gymnastics they put on display some folk label what I'm trying to do as cancel culture. This is not cancel culture. It's you f around, you're going to find out. You're going to try to attack their <laughs> channel. Uh-uh, man. Like, that's a that's the way it goes. Like, somebody does this to me. Like, yeah, you don't fucking do this. Look, we all say dumb shit on the internet. We take accountability. We apologize, learn, and move forward. But Quantum doesn't. That's the difference. Yeah, like in terms of my my also my first video that I did all of this, the first video that I actually begin all of this, I basically just said <laughs> he is the type of person that doesn't apologize because he believes on what he's saying. Because one thing that I'm a strong uh, believer of is like if you are being canceled by something and you don't believe that you are wrong. It's useless you apologizing, okay? Because it's not sincere apolog you're not sincerely apologizing. So might as well not even do it, okay? You're just basically trying to see that okay, I'm I have to apologize because everybody's mad at me. So just stop being mad at me. So I'm gonna say just sorry. So be if you just do that, because that means that you didn't learn anything, and you can probably do the same thing in the next day or something. But if you know that you were wrong, okay, I'm being canceled for this and all of that, and I actually said some stupid stuff, okay, you then apologize sincerely, okay? Now, if you think that you're in the right, say the reasons why you're not apologizing and say, hey, go with, go with the flow of your own wave, okay? But Quantum TV is a strong believer that is not wrong, so that's why he's never going to apologize, even until he gets banned. Like, he's not going to apologize. He's just going to be more and more angry because of all of this. He had a chance to change, and he hasn't. Let's also then pretend that yeah. you didn't hear me in my public statement video, which is still live on this channel, disavow my hacked tweets. This mother is guilty. Oh, he's lying. Look at him trying to cover his tracks. You didn't disavow it. You just said you were hacked, dude. An easily provable lie. Another thing I hear people say is that mm. actions on other platforms shouldn't factor into his ban on YouTube. Uh, normally, I would agree, but this is a special case. We see the same radical extremist um. beliefs shared across all platforms. It's a pattern of behavior. But it's a pattern of behavior. You see are you wait 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 are you just quoting my man here or what are we, what are we doing dude i'm saying <laughs> this is a pattern of behavior like it, yeah it, and that's what i'm saying that is true is that two points make a line and a line goes in a direction your honor i request youtube testify about their policies man smart. And external yeah. links i too would like to hear more on this matter youtube if you would please take the stand YouTube is not going to, well, to be fair, they already took a stand, which I don't think they, they put their two senses into this. That's why we're still here. <laughs> Links that send users to websites featuring content that violates our community guidelines are not allowed on YouTube. Hold it! I noticed you have this disclaimer mm -hmm. written in most of your community guidelines. It reads, 
These policies also apply to external links in your content. Are all of your community guidelines also applied to links people have on their YouTube channels? Our community guidelines, the policies that protect our community, outline what you can and cannot do on YouTube. Any content that violates these policies is removed. Those guidelines include a hate speech policy that protects people with protected attributes across all kinds of content on our platform. From videos and comments, to links, titles, and descriptions. Objection! In my last video, I proved at great... So if you have a link to your Twitter or Instagram and you just basically do some stupid stuff, that is also violating community guidelines. So what? Open borders are agree, and I'm racist. Again. Links, some of the racist, homophobic, or sorry, anti-gay things Quantum has said. And I proved that he had all these accounts linked on his main YouTube channel. Yeah. These were linked on his YouTube account. You know what I really hate, <laughs> YouTube? This bullshit speech you're giving me. Objection. They're going to run with the fact that their friend shared them hacked tweets. I never even knew there was a backlog for Twitter until they started nastily live streaming it to slander and slam me. Objection. You can't even keep your story straight. Objection. Yeah, there are, there is a backlog for everything, so even for Instagram. I didn't do. When I make a mistake, I own it outright and say, you know what? Damn, I was wrong. Objection. You ha you haven't even said that once since all of this started. You haven't admitted that you were wrong on anything, literally anything. And eighty to ninety percent. Actually, no, I'm being actually generous. Ninety three percent. Also, being a little bit generous. 98% of the thing. Okay, no. You are wrong, okay? <laughs> but you didn't admit to anything. You expect us to believe that your PlayStation, Xbox, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube accounts were all hacked. You're now also claiming in these messages that people are That's a lot. copyright takedowns in your name and that someone tried buying a house in your name. If I were you, Quantum, I'd never step foot in a casino because apparently you're the unluckiest man in the world. Making this podcast, <laughs> the whole point of it is... Yeah, I get hacked a lot, man. Especially if you ever run into gamers, you know how toxic they can be. Well, if you look at the description. Then that's uh, that's something that you're doing wrong then. ...of his older videos. You'll find he still has old links to these deleted Twitter and Facebook pages. Your Honor, perhaps I didn't provide enough examples of hate speech in the last video. I'm well equipped this time. Take that! Gay marriage needs to be shut down. Marriage is not a gay... Like, the thing is, like, his old freaking Twitter account and all of his social medias, they are all so damning that you could just basically cancel him just for the tweets alone. Like, we don't even need to be here. This man, just by his old tweets alone, should be canceled on the spot. But at the same time, he got hacked. I don't know what type of hacker is this, but damn, he had a lot of time on his hands. I'll give him that. Jesus. Right. YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. Here's a screenshot of him linking a now deleted video he posted to YouTube titled Heterophobic Gay Pride Exposed. In mere seconds, YouTube removed my video showing the racism in Black Panther. Liberals are Nazis. 100% proof Black Panther is racist. So many heterophobic individuals show themselves today. I say like racist to who black people <laughs> like who are they it's racist to the word quantum apotheosis is anti-gay I'm not sorry YouTube you allowed this guy to build a community based around hate lies and harassment through your brand through your website he currently has a link to his discord where he's saying things like I wish the most painful death on everyone involved in this massive smear campaign gee where have we heard that before at the end of the well, day, go kill yourself, man. You guys are bashing on me, calling me a filthy casual player, and I say, hey, man, go kill yourself. Because that's the name of the game. Go kill yourself. Go die in the game a bunch of times. Look, I like Elden Ring. That's why I'm here. <laughs> but at the same time, this all started because of Elden Ring. This could have ended by... 
No, this couldn't have ended. This man actually does need to get out of the platform. Yeah, <laughs> this could not have ended. This man just needs to get out of the platform. He shouldn't even be here in the first place. He said, go kill yourself. You just don't do that. What in the woke trash is that? And another thing, he's violated your policy on external links. Just how many of your policies do you no longer enforce? Yeah, because it seemed like he's basically crossing every single policy and pop like he's crossing every rule. <laughs> like how many rules does YouTube have? He might as well just cross everything. But obviously he didn't cross the porn industry. <laughs> he didn't cross the porn part, but uh, he may actually go there. How many guidelines does this man need to break before you get off your ass and do something? Mm hmm. At this point, should we be the ones to do something? Oh, he clearly is doing something. But, uh, we don't need ads right now. But And they I really would... love to attack my sexual yeah. orientation by discriminating is... against me, making LGBT GIFs and memes and all kinds of stuff. Who is this? What is this channel? A honest review of Quantum TV. Jesus stuff, Christ. because this is appropriate behavior. I mean, if the roles were reversed and, you know, they wanted their sexual orientation to be respected and it wasn't, I'm pretty sure they would go screaming, kicking and falling out all over the floor about it. But here I am, a Christian straight man, and they target that as some sort of nasty or negative thing. YouTube claims they take all this stuff into consideration, right? Comments, community posts, videos, external links, your behavior on other platforms factors in. All of this can and should be scrutinized under the community guidelines and as a whole be used to determine if any action is taken. What rules have been broken and to what severity? You can judge the scale of these violations based on the length of this video. YouTube, please tell- Wait, what? Based on the length of this video? I didn't understand that part. Let me just go back just to see if- rules have been broken and to what severity you can judge the scale of these violations based on the length of this video oh okay i get what he's saying like the video is so damn long because there's so much violation that he basically crossed that <laughs> he crossed so many violations that this is why the video is literally an hour and my video and recording is already an hour and five minutes like i've been recording for an hour and five minutes and we are half of the video youtube oh, God. please testify about your policies on harmful or dangerous content don't post content on youtube if it fits any of the descriptions noted below violent events promoting or glorifying violent tragedies such as school shootings please note these policies whoa that's too deep. Keep also in mind that there's external is... links in your content. Oh, if that applies to the external links, then this man is actually uh, gone. <laughs> like, like I said, like the external, his ex external links are so damning that he, he basically just butchered the complete guidelines to the floor yeah. just by his external so links. It's not okay to glorify school shootings. Then what about mass shootings? What about the second largest mass shooting in American history? Is it okay to glorify that and tell people you wish they were Pulse victims? Wait, 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 wait. He did that? Bruh. I know I said your stuff is so damning that it's actually quite crazy, but you're exaggerating at this point. Bro, why? Major TV comp. You want to say said this? He wants anyone supporting the LGBTQ. So he's talking about the L LGBTQ. Death. Too bad you weren't a pulse. A pulse. Bro, you don't need to wish death upon nobody that doesn't want you arm. Like this is crazy. Like, you're going out of your way to paint as such a bad character. Like, I don't care what type of beliefs you have. You don't wish death to nobody. Especially people that haven't 
done anything to you. would be better off without gay people? Yes, you're right. Sometimes the woke culture stuff is it's exhausting. It, it's just so tiresome. And I don't like it just as much as you don't. However, there are sometimes it's the same thing. It's like uh, it's like people say everything's racist. There actually are people that are legitimately racist. It isn't like you know an opinion ah. on the president or something like this. this isn't an actual racist. Wait, what? Like you know an opinion on what is the that president. Picture? What is that picture? That that seems a, a bit sussy. Uh, so I'm late to the party, but Joe Biden is a total. Like, how can we say stuff like this and just get away with it? Like, I can just come up here and say, hey, I got ripped and stripped and also raped by freaking Eminem. Like, uh, uh, what are we doing? Uh, uh, I probably will remove, will remove this part from the video because I don't want those words coming out of my mouth, at least not tonight. <laughs> this is a person saying people should get shot for being gay. Like, this is, come on, Yeah. Man. That is Call not okay. A spade a spade. You're not doing yourself and you're not doing people that think like you any favors by making excuses for nutballs. If he. Yeah, you can't give excuses to that. I don't even know how can you give excuses to that. If somebody says, shoot every gay person, like, how are you giving excuses to that person? What are you going to say? No, legitimately. If you're giving an excuse to him, explaining his reason, I want to hear your explanation for that reason because nobody's gonna take that explanation it doesn't matter how you try to spin it because there is no way that you can spin in your way it's impossible like i wanted to make this video a little bit more funny but i'm being serious which i don't like i don't like being serious but let me tell you right now this is the Oh boy, let me bring my smile back because that's the thing that I do best. Apologized, truly tried to make amends. I'd give him the benefit of the doubt. The problem, Quantum TV is still the same person that believes these things. He still thinks the gays are out to get him and force him to have anal sex. This is getting disgusting. These guys are making their sexual fantasies in Tom Mills form. I am not gay, never will be guess it is how lgbt threat straight people now i don't want to participate in the anal sex the liberal people tell me to i mean this is insane <laughs> let me read this sentence again i don't want to participate <laughs> in the anal sex the liberal people tell me to this is not something that you hear a lot you don't hear this you don't hear this very often youtube and advertisers i never heard that before in my life level of craziness one minute someone could be watching stuff the fomo and the next minute they start having anal sex with their dads YouTube. yeah i should be reading that as well like god damn yo that to be fair all of his stuff is so damning like i said to the point it doesn't matter what he says at this point he could literally say i had I was about to say I had sex with Hitler, but at that point, he's not the gays, right? As he said. But at this point, he can have a breakfast with Hitler at this point. We wouldn't be surprised. YouTube and advertisers. Well, I would be surprised be because he basically conquered death, but doing how did that? Trying to conjure demons with satanic rituals. Satanic what? influence isn't a joke. <laughs> I don't want to participate in the anal sex <laughs> that other people tell me to. Bro, how many people were reacting to this? Like, there's a lot of YouTubers here. <laughs> Remember to stay strong in the faith of Jesus Christ who died for our sins. <laughs> God bless you and we'll prosper. God bless, man. That was amazing. First of all, God or Jesus wouldn't tell you, oh, yeah, kill all gays. Like, that's not even in the Bible. That's not nowhere written, okay? It's basically just in the Bible or whatever it, it, description says, just have like procreate or be with your spouse or whatever the hell, because it's all about procreation, right? Because that's the thing about Bible. You need to procreate and all that. But in nowhere near it says kill somebody that doesn't go by those rules, okay? One thing that the Bible vindicates the most is love 
and respect for each other. This is the, for some reason, religious people bypass the number one thing about the Bible and being religious. Be respectful to others and love thy neighbor. These are the biggest and the number one thing about religious religion. But everybody bypasses that. Why? Why would you bypass the first freaky rule and just go, you know? You guys remember that video Quantum <laughs> shared of the LGBT activists getting attacked in Georgia? I watched the video and there's no context. It's just the guy getting assaulted in broad daylight. Why did he hit him like that? Let me say that again, though. I watched the video, and there's no context. It's just a guy getting assaulted in broad daylight. The replies are filled with people celebrating this man, calling him a hero. And with the... Why did he got hit? Bro, I would run... If I saw somebody getting assaulted like that for just talking, I will go after the person that punched him. Bruv. Like that. That made me so the mad right now. To take one guess. What? Who I found in the comments section. <laughs> who, oh, Jesus Christ, I not pause at the right time. My God, Quentin's even. Content creator. <laughs> this young man is a hero. I am so glad heroes still exist in... T Who's the hero? The one that was punching? Or the one getting punched considered a public figure and if this is the presence he has on the website uh, yeah we gotta be careful poison. on what we say i find it all the more indicative of youtube's incompetence that they have what they call protected groups and they allegedly consider harassment my attention span is of a child damn we don't allow content promoting hatred against people with protected attributes promoting protected attributes what do you mean like handicap like, if I was blind and doing YouTube videos, which I would be amazed. If he makes fun of me, then crossed. Or if you just basically with internal illness or or just being another type of sexual orientation. Hatred can mean things like comparing a group to animals. One of the moments that were really annoying for me oh. is like you had Selena Kyle, which is Lenny Kravitz's daughter, like a half-breed basically half-breed does that mean wait half-breed which is lenny kravitz daughter like a half-breed wait are you saying she's half-breed because her mother is black and her father is white half-breed basically what is this harry huh? potter what the f <laughs> Uh, oh my god, man. The only what? conclusion I can draw from YouTube's decision to not what ban Quantum is that children and members of the LGBT community are no longer considered protected groups. Now you guys are kind of running with like, he's a bigot, he's a homophobe, he's a transphobe. You're just trying to weaponize the gay community against me. Ah, uh, yes. We deploy weaponize. the against you. Tactical weaponize the gay community. Like, Tactical I don't think that's a good... <laughs> I love how Quantum thinks we like manipulated gay people against him. You have done the funny yourself. part is... That's what I was about to say. That's literally what I was about to say. That you weaponized yourself and against yourself. So YouTube's greatest flaw <laughs> it's like a revolver putting it against your head. Like, the platform. You ain't winning. They have confirmed through email and over telephone that they cannot, will not, and do not investigate anything that is not a currently active link. All the other AV YouTubers, and they disregarded all of those as well. His Facebook and Twitter were archived on the Wayback Machine. Hundreds of people have screen capped the stuff he said. It's real. I'm quite delighted by this news, YouTube. You know why? Because I can finally promote my brand new porno. Links in the description. This man. <laughs> this man. <laughs> uh, but to be fair, you are a big YouTuber. So you're gonna get striked faster than lightning bolts, okay? Like if I did something stupid like this, I probably would have like a year or some dumbassery of long as of a time to react or for them to react to me and ban me.
But if it was Ackman doing this, he would be banned on two my seconds. Neo Nazi recruitment website. You can find that in the pinned comment. And if you'd like to take part in this next pyramid scheme I'm running, well, that's in the description too. If it's you one question I you get over, with that over one. during the course of this channel, it's why does Quantum TV attack every other YouTube channel? When you look at the methods he's used to harass these people in particular. And then you have Paul the Tech Giant come on to our channel and immediately I need everyone's attention. Who the hell do you think you are? You are nothing on this community. And, and let me be very clear, you are nothing on this community to be asking for people's attention when I'm speaking. Quantum attempts to dis on this community. One's attention. Like Paul the tech giant come We could just be friends, man. Like yeah. Am I the only nice person? Well, I'm not the only nice person, but can't we just talk it out like hey, we could just grow with each other like learn and everything. Like we create the same genre of content. More reason to storm our brains and become a lot bigger on youtube like nobody grows by themselves even mr bees didn't grow by himself well to be fair he started by himself but currently he has a full team right now why because he knows about youtube actually i take it back even when he was starting YouTube, guess what? He wasn't by himself because he started with brainstorming with other people and thinking, what are the best contents that we can make? He was doing that with multiple people. Even he knew I can do this by myself, but you guys are literally putting everybody down. That's not how the world works. We need each other. Ah, man to our channel and immediately i need everyone's attention who the hell do you think you are but to be fair where did he post where did he, he wrote this and why i need everyone's attention why did he wrote this and i need to know more like you can't just say that and then just dip okay maybe he's just trolling at this point if you just say that and then just dip he's trolling but if you say that and then he has another message Maybe the, the message is important. Maybe he's just trying to connect with you. Look, this is the best way to connect with another YouTuber. He messaged, he put, a, he put a freaking comment on your video. You should be like, oh damn, yeah. He, he, this person is actually big on the community as well. I should basically talk to him and actually grow up and start a new strategy and make a probably a video, uh, like a, co a combination video with him. Like, this is the best way to grow YouTube. Like, you should be thankful for him to... Am I dumb? <laughs> Am I dumb? <laughs> nothing on this community. And, and let me be very clear. You are nothing on this community to be asking for people's attention when I'm speaking. Quantum attempts to discredit I'm every speaking. other AV YouTuber in the hopes that they'll go to his channel instead of theirs. He will do this for the most asinine or bad crazy reason. Instead of discrediting them and hoping for their viewers to come to you, you should be doing the opposite. Uh, going with them, making combination videos or basically going to their community as well, talking to them, friendly, having a partner, on the same genre of YouTube videos that you're doing and actually be integrated on his community and people from his community will go to your community. That's how it works. It's not berate, ber berating other people and hoping that their viewers go to you. No, what will happen is their viewers are going to be mad at you. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Reasons he can come up with. The funniest being his opinions on Stop the FOMO, being a Satanist. Where does he even get these ideas from? <laughs> he will find someone to attack for some reason, just to create- Ah, uh, so basically he's running out of content. I see. I have a lot of content, okay? I'm not doing this because I want content. I'm doing this because first, Elden Ring. Second, views. Third, hey, I'm not gonna lie. What do you think? I I'm honest, okay? I'm 100% honest with my emotions and objectives in life okay views and also uh i also was curious to what is going on in the community because this is important for every youtuber in the entire freaking platform that's why you see a lot of content creators 
big name content creators uh, watching this and also commenting on this because this is this affects everybody. Obviously, this is not my genre. Okay, I do gaming, I do funny videos. That's it. I'm going to sleep. I will go to sleep after that. But seeing that this started with Elden Ring, I still have a footing into this. Am I just an only Elden Ring YouTube channel? Hell no. Get drama and get drama views. Well, Quantum, why do you smear so many other AV YouTubers? Simple, to attack their credibility and show up in search results when people look them up. Even if he's not successful in these attempts yeah. to defame people. And that is also another strategy cause, that I isn't know. Isn't it bad that he's been doing this for four years? I mean, th these are things that a lot of these people like be the installer, stop the FOMO. You know, the other guys are not going to talk about. If I'm being very frank, they need to know their place. A lot of the people you are watching or getting information from usually don't know what they're talking about. And I prove that they don't know what they're talking about. He calls... Um, uh, the same thing that you did with Elden Ring when you didn't absolutely review the game properly. You didn't even finish the game. You didn't even beat the first boss in the Elden Ring. So what you're trying to prove with other people is the same thing that you are doing with that. They're also doing like, how are you? You're shooting yourself in the foot as well. And fraud, sellout, Satanists in disguise. I'm. Well, to be the best TV calibrator. Only I know what I'm talking about. But here's where the story, which not even it's you know, very interesting. I did some research into TV calibration as a profession, and calibrators like Ninjitian and Keep It Classy Tech will go to a client's house I didn't to know that the existed. TV so that it fits the lighting in their room. Every house is different. Every TV is calibrated a little bit differently. It's the same idea of, say, a plumber that. needing to be in your house to fix your plumbing. I'm sure you know okay. where I'm going with this, Quantum. Mr. TV conducts his TV calibration business in a way that no other calibrator does. Mr. TV doesn't go to clients' houses. He doesn't have clients. He's not a certified TV calibrator. He's the heck does he do? And so people who appreciate the truth love what I do. And they've named this channel the number one brand in honesty. That's not a self-given name, right? And he's been... Honesty. Well, you're getting a lot of backlashes because you're honest. <laughs> but... Well, to be fair, you did like quite a few times. Ago. Using YouTube memberships and Patreon to scam people into thinking they're buying TV settings from a certified calibrator. If he wants to sell people settings and just say, hey, these are settings I did, you know, whatever, I don't care. Uh, but when you're telling people that you are a calibrator when you aren't and that you're selling calibrated set settings and they're not, he will from time to time give an actual definition of what a calibrator is and what calibration is but he then says he goes against that. But we're forgetting that I don't have 65,000 subscribers for no reason, I actually have a following. But my following is because I attacked people like Vincent Tio and I've attacked the AVS forum because- So you're basically saying that your content is about attacking. One of the reasons why Leafy got freaking banned out of YouTube, because he was attacking. Because he was attacking YouTubers, hate speech, harassment and whatever the hell else he probably did he got banned because of his attack against pokemon i don't know who he did, who did he attack but he attacked somebody and now he's the because of their dedication in. to the old ways of the 30 year old industry standards that don't work for a guy who apparently specializes in the audio visual that's basically like a pyramid sure scheme has at this no point. clue how to balance his audio scheme, but on a personal a level i think that bothers me the most right he'll upload videos with stereo audio and then one side will just be so much louder than the other it's like and so people who appreciate the truth love what i do and they've named this channel yeah i hate this brand in honesty. that's not a self-given name right so you hear how the audio is balanced to the right side now if i drag and drop this effect and so people who appreciate the truth yeah love what i do and they've like I will never upload a video that has bad. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, look, I'm a studying YouTuber, okay? If I have bad audio, that's because I can't literally do anything about this. That's why I bought this mic, okay? Wow, look at that. It's almost like that took me all of 30 seconds to do. Or when he showed the yeah. phone call of him harassing We put work into our videos. Like, sure you this video, I'm probably not going to edit. Let me be honest. This back, is a this is a one hour and 30 okay, minute so video. Hear the audio. It's like, why don't you do that for me? <laughs> Why are you gonna make me turn the volume up? But it gets even worse because not only is he a fraud, but oh allegedly boy. he steals other calibrators' settings and tries to pass them off as his own. I put up a video two days ago within like an this hour. This is like the same scheme that other people that do takes like shot of my video, uh what you call it? this post in their private discord. People that do courses, yeah. Says, he's doing wrong. the same thing that you people know, that do courses. Stealing other people's whatever, content and, then later someone asks and projects from and putting, and then he says yes, but then customizing, it it looking it like yes, it's his. From wherever, something like that. Uh, like that stuff that happens all the time. So, what was the settings that you were going to show? Just out of curiosity. Right, so, I got to throw an image up of this. You know, it's an actual reference image that's used to check a television after its calibration, and show what it's supposed to. That man's like. voice has a lot and of bass. Just show like the basis of what he does. And you better have a bag of, you know, spicy Cheeto dust ready. So this is basically what it's supposed to look like. What Quantum wants to do and sell people looks like this. <laughs> oh, God. Quantum Yo, Quantum, you, you do look at your settings, right? You do look at your settings, right? Because you can tell by looking at it, like, th these don't look too good. You just take it and then just put it and then just say, hey buy this it's already good you don't need to even try it i didn't see it you can just basically just buy it buy it the way that it is don't care <laughs> like uh you can tell oh these God. are not good <laughs> oh god so essentially look at the saturation on that thing literally lying telling the contrast that saturation a, a is absolutely madness when he's not yeah so wow. that, oh, well, he says he's a master calibrator which is no such thing Again, they say abuse of this tool may lead to the termination of your channel and under penalty of perjury. So my question, what exactly constitutes abuse of this tool? Quantum TV has also claimed that he only used the copyright ID tool to flag videos. Ackman literally sent a full Bible lyric saying what this man did. But they themselves don't go out and investigate if those things are true or not. They just go... They just see his channel, okay? Go to the link of the video that's here, okay? Let's just see this, okay? It's changed. They don't actually go into the nitty gritty and investigate this man's channel. Like they're just doing the most borderline basic investigations and just say, this man did nothing. We can find anything is innocent. Because he deleted all, that's why. But everything is on the... Oh uh, my down. god, I have right. absolutely no However, energy. It's already pretty late. The copyright late. ID tool does not allow you to issue strikes to other creators. It is simply a means of identifying it. DMCA's have to be manually filed elsewhere. Maybe you could look into the archives hmm. of the chat he had with YouTube support where he blamed you for filing his false claims. Now let's take a look at some others. There was a DM... Wait, wait, wait. How is he blaming YouTube for him... For him falsely accuse or falsely uh, my brain wait it was youtube who recommended that i claim your video bro i believe that it's an option because if you go into if you're a content creator and if you go into your creator studio it will appear like people doing content in your name or content that you appeared in it will appear and it it is like an option but youtube is not telling you to go claim these videos okay it appears to let you know these people are talking about you or you have some type of degree on this predicament you, youtube doesn't tell you go claim their videos or go strike them otherwise a lot of people would be claimed and striked out of their minds. I don't even think YouTube would be here if that was the case. Like, imagine if YouTube was telling everybody to claim their videos or strike people. Nobody would be able to do any content that isn't original, originally theirs. We would be striked out of our minds if I played any type of game. 
<laughs> blamed you for filing his false claims. Now let's take a look at some others. There was a DMCA he filed against Ninjitian where he tried to claim rights for cosplaying as Deadpool. I'm not kidding. And again, even- I didn't- uh, that was so moronic, I didn't even know what- what this man just said. What? against Ninjitian where he tried to claim rights for cosplaying as Deadpool. What is your argument? <laughs> what exactly are you trying to strike this man with? Yo, I just legitimately don't understand. Like, cosplaying? Bro, Deadpool is not even yours to claim. Like, it's a character, but you specify Deadpool cosplay skit. Then whoever owns Deadpool, which I don't know if it's Marvel or DC, they could claim your videos as well or strike you. What are we doing? Type of artwork, photo. Is it a photo or a skit? Where does the content appear? <laughs> yeah, that's not the same thing. He submitted a takedown because. Wait, it's on the thumbnail? Skit. Skit can't be on the thumbnail. Photo. Yeah. Someone, because Ninjitian probably used him wearing his Deadpool mask in a thumbnail. And you, you can see his rants going off on YouTube for not accepting the claim and taking down Ninjitian's video. I don't know what video this is, but Quantum also threatened this guy for as little as using his face in a thumbnail. All right, so quick update. I had a whole section on cyberbullying and harassment. I've had to cut it from this video. Yeah, because if you did that, that video would be two hours. My video is close to two hours. By the way, guys, I really, I will upload the video the, the way it is. That, Probably. Uh, I like to edit, but hours. I will leave the video the way that it is. I need to finish this video, so I will be doing a follow-up on cyberbullying and harassment. I did kind of cover that in the copyright abuse video. I suppose you can just trust me on that for now. I hope what I've provided has been compelling. So now let's wrap up this extremely long video. So here's the run. Yeah. By not enforcing their policies, this is too big, YouTube right. is demonstrating a profound disinterest in punishing bad apples. People like Quantum TV absolutely do not deserve to have a platform anywhere online when they abuse their position to such a degree. The entire YouTube community has risen up and demanded justice. You are the only one who can deliver it, YouTube. So make your choice. You can stick to your guns, side with hate, or you can terminate Quantum TV and prove you side with the community and genuinely want to make this a better place for everyone. I don't think it's a difficult decision. This whole affair has left me utterly disgusted and speechless They're by too late. YouTube. They've lied I'm to you, they've lied to me. YouTube, Today, come on now. Come YouTube on, YouTube. Come on now, YouTube. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of Pride Month promotion YouTube does, while at the same time giving a platform to a guy who genuinely believes more people should have been killed in the second deadliest mass shooting in America. Yo, that, I still can't hear those words. Uh, how though? How can some... It's gonna be interesting. I think I've made my case on this matter pretty goddamn clear. And yet, at the end of my last video, yes, you did. Everyone was already Especially the fact that they knew he should be banned. Now I have you content for three days. Because the YouTube community I'm doesn't joking. want to this be associated for one day. with that level of craziness. Yo, this is he. Yo, I'll see you guys in the next video.